Shalom, all praise is unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Wawakakwadash. Peace, blessings, much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. On down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like. Pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons and daughters also. The water to Yahweh Shai because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. All right. Now, I understand on the sideline, you got a whole lot of people who just talk ill about what my brethren and I do. Seeing that we go out and teach this word. If you actually believed in the Bible, you would understand that we're doing exactly what the prophets of old did, but yet we're looked at like we're just doing something totally contrary, something that's just never been done before. When all the prophets of old did the exact same thing that we're doing, and they went through the exact same things that we go through. Now, whether people want to believe it or not, reincarnation is of the Bible. But the Lord is going to get every last one of you scoffers, every last one of you who think what we're doing is a joke. You think what we're doing is a waste of time. You, you try to make us as if we're just literally cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, man. You literally treat us like we wrote the Bible ourselves and we literally went off into some room one night, you know, hit a meth pipe and then came back doing what we're doing. Like, this world is stupid, man. This is the book of Luke chapter 6 and 25. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. And a lot of people are actually laughing at us. There's plenty of times I'll go out there and I'll teach. Do this work from the bottom of my heart, okay? Putting myself out there and I can just luck up. And somebody will be laughing. Somebody will be making me the butt of the joke. Which is okay, you know, it's all part of being in this ministry. That's a part of the battle. These people have no idea what they're doing, though. These people have no idea that the judgment of the Lord is upon them. Okay? Let's read this again. I tried to read the scriptures twice before moving on just so it hits better. And I know certain men, certain women, they're not really interested in the scriptures. But if you come to my page, that's that's what I try to bring out, you know. And if I do uh, end up talking in between, I try not to go, you know, more than four or five minutes before I need to hit the scriptures again. So uh, Luke chapter six and twenty five. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. And there's a lot of people laughing at us right now because they see what we're doing as an opportunity to try to make us lesser than them, to try to make us, you know, the threat, make us the villain, make us the bad guys. People naturally don't like us because what they don't understand is our spirits are divided. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is dividing people right now. Everybody's not meant to get along. Everybody's not meant to go along, all right? Let's go to Galatians chapter 6 and 7. Be not deceived. The power is not mocked. So a lot of people, they'll ridicule us. They'll snuff their nose at us when really they're snuffing their nose at the Heavenly Father. They're snuffing their nose at Yahweh Shai. And they're going to have to pay for that, Okay. Be not deceived, the power is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So when our people, or anyone for that matter, they sow up all this <clears throat> animosity towards the Lord, they sow up all this rebellion, they sow up all these iniquities, well, what do they think is supposed to happen? Eventually, it's going to lead to their demise. It's going to lead to their death. Okay? Be not deceived. The power is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, 
that shall he also reap. So you reap what you sow. And there's no way that you could try to clown Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and win. No matter how long it seems to take before the Lord touches you, just know you have it coming for you people on the sideline who really just come to these pages to have something to say, something negative to say. You have something opposing what we're saying, or you're looking for fault when you can just go on ahead and unsubscribe now. Go on ahead and unsubscribe now. Okay? Because the Lord sees you. You think you're in secret watching our videos, looking for us to fall short. Well, the Lord got you. Don't be deceived into thinking any different. Be not deceived. The power is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So don't be deceived. Let's go to Ezekiel. And I'm going to show you why, you know, you shouldn't deceive yourself into thinking you just have so much authority over your own life. And you're just so great to laugh at me and my brethren. My brethren and I. Ezekiel 18 and 4. Behold, all souls are mine. That includes you scoffers and those of you weirdos on the sideline who make us the butt of your joke. We're wrong. We're, we're, we're deceivers. We're antichrists. We're, we're all these bad, foul names. Behold, all souls are mine as the soul of the father and also the soul of the son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. So don't be deceived. You know, you can play these games. You can avoid this word as, as long as you want. You know, you can make yourself feel better by making yourself believe what we're saying is a lie. But just know with all the games that our people are playing, just know eventually, unless you repent and you're of the elect, you will die. And that's not a question. And it's not a game. And I don't care how you feel about it. The Lord will kill every last one of you who find this gospel as a joke. You think Yahweh shot going to the cross was some myth. You think it's a light thing, right? You will die. Don't be deceived. But see, the thing is, the Lord has the majority of you deceived. What you don't understand, this is the Lord's program. Even if you feel in your heart of hearts, you hate what we do, you hate how we look, you hate the message, whatever it may be, whether you're an Israelite or a heathen, did you not know the Lord is actually deceiving you? And he's actually deceiving you through left-hand spirits? <laughs> Let's go to Job, chapter 12 and verse 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. So the one goes around deceiving, the other goes around being deceived, which would make them both one of the same. Well, guess what? Yahweh by Hashem Shai controls the guy spreading the lies and he controls the guy who believes the lies. Everything is of the Lord. So all you stupid people out there, you think this is a joke, you think this is funny, you whisper to yourselves, who knows what you're saying? The angels do, that's who. Don't think what you're saying is in secret, all right? And it's just stupid to think that as much as we come out the Bible, people still try to pretend like, we're just like making these things up. There's no way what we're saying is of God and we're reading it to you in your face. All right. Let's go to Matthews. Chapter 12 and verse 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So all you people talking, your little, you know, ill words towards us, thinking that what you're saying is funny. You, you think you're so clever, right? You think you're just so hilarious. You just think you're the one person on earth who's just so special that you could actually disrespect the Lord, right? And get away with it. You know, there's not going to be no consequence. I don't like this guy, so that's enough for me to not have to listen. You know, there's there's so much <laughs> ass kicking that's about to come to this earth, man. People have no idea. 
they have no idea. See, they just see us as average guys and they feel in their heart of hearts, man, these guys are going to just be a thing of the past one day. Their words are going to, you know, become air. What they're saying, it's not going to happen. Anyway, Matthew 12 and 36 again, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak. So don't think that the Lord didn't hear you just because we didn't hear you. They shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. And we're definitely in a time of judgment. And you know where judgment's going to take place? Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. That's speaking of planet Earth. That wickedness was there and the place of righteousness. That iniquity was there. So here on Earth, you have wickedness and righteousness here. All right? That's here on earth. This is the place of judgment. So here on earth, a lot of you people are going to catch a severe beating. The Lord is going to beat y'all's ass. All right. Just in case you think I'm playing. Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 11. The Lord shall threaten. So the Lord is the one threatening you through his prophets. The Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. So Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to beat y'all's ass, man. Okay. And then you might say, oh, you just cursed. Look, Peter called someone a dumbass in the scriptures. The Lord is going to beat a lot of people's asses, man, because a lot of people have it coming. And when I say a lot of people, I'm speaking of a lot more than those who are going to receive mercy. The Lord is not coming back to play no games, man. The Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. So when Yahweh Shai comes with a host of angels, when they start zapping people and zapping uh, different elements with them uh, fiery thunderbolts, people are going to be beat to powder like Lot's wife. OK. Now, let's go back. To Ecclesiastes 3 and 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. So under the sun being the place of judgment, people are going to get beat to powder here in the near future. That wickedness was there in the place of the righteousness. And the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. So, yeah, there you go. All right. So all you weirdos on the sideline all you creeps all you little punk ass niggards out there the lord got you man all you people who get offended over words all you people who have a problem with the lord's servants and who the lord's dealing with the lord gonna beat y'all's ass man okay jeremiah 3 and 15 and i will give you pastors according to mine heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding the lord is raising up men he wants to raise up. He don't give a fuck about what you people want. Oh, you might say, oh, well, see, this guy, he talks all kind. That's why I can watch his videos. He doesn't use profanity. You don't even know what that word means. Okay? You don't even know what a curse word actually is. And you people are just, just so effeminate. You're just so emotional that you're looking for a way out. You're looking for a reason to say, see, see, Lord. That's why I didn't listen, because he said, F you. No, you didn't listen because you're rebellious and you don't like that the Lord chose who he chose. OK, and I will give you pastors. This is Jeremiah 3 and 15, of course. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So the Lord is raising up men according to his own heart. And then what happens? People get mad. They're bothered. They don't like who the Lord's dealing with. That's on them. Okay. The Lord is going to beat y'all's ass. Job chapter nine and four. He is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who hath hardened himself against him and hath prospered. So you're not going to harden yourself against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and win. Don't be deceived. You can snuff your nose at us. You can snuff your nose at the heavenly father. You can snuff your nose at his only begotten son. You can say there is no God. You can say all these stupid things, man. But you are not going to prosper. <laughs> you're just not. I don't care if you're an atheist and you live in a mansion 
You got a Hellcat. You got you got four women. Okay? You are not going to prosper. You're not going to harden yourself against your Howard Bashumi I was shy and prosper. Okay? You're not going to try to clown his servants and prosper. It's just not going to happen. And people think judgment always has to come so quickly. It's supposed to just happen right away. You you might clown a man because you don't like how he dresses. You don't like how he looks. Okay? You might clown a man because he's short. Hey, man, I'm telling you. A lot of you people, you, you have a whole lot coming to you. You have the audacity. You have the nerve. The problem with today's world is everything is a fucking joke. All right? Well, joke's on you. And that joke is going to come in the form of death and destruction. Because you people deserve it, man. All right? I guess I'll read this scripture again. Job 9 and 4. He is wise in heart. So the Lord is wise in mind. Hell, he's the creator of wisdom itself. Right? And mighty in strength. He's the creator of strength. Who hath hardened himself against him and hath prospered? So no one's going to harden themselves against Yahweh by Hashem Shai and prosper. Okay? And you're hardening yourself by denying his prophets. I had a man tell me some days ago that he don't care what the scripture says because he doesn't want to hear it coming from me. Now, he didn't say that verbatim, but that's basically what he said is he don't want to hear the scriptures because it's coming from me. He don't want to hear what it has to say. Right. This is what we go through. This is what we have to deal with. This is Luke chapter 10 and 16. He that heareth you heareth me and he that despiseth you despiseth me and he that despiseth me despiseth him that sent me. So that's the order. You despise us. You despise Yahweh Shai, which means you despise the heavenly father, period. So who are you to try to have some some ill feeling towards a man in his ministry because you don't like how he talks or how he looks? He's too aggressive. He, he's too he's too um, he's too passive. You know, he he's too short. He's too tall. Right. His, his beard's too big. His, his beard's too small. He can't grow a beard. His lineup, uh, his, his or his not his lineup, his natural hairline is all messed up. Right. People have so much to say. The Lord is going to whoop a lot of ass, man. OK, Luke chapter 10 and 16 again. He that heareth you heareth me. So if you hear us, you hear Yahweh Shah. And this is in red. So you know what that means. And he that despiseth you despiseth me. And he that despiseth me despiseth him that sent me. So if you despise us, you despise the heavenly father. So just by despising us, that's how you harden yourself against him. You don't have to necessarily say, Yahweh, I don't want to listen to you. You can say to hell with this guy or this guy over here. He's such and such and you don't know, have all these negative things. You're hardening yourselves against the Lord. Let's close it with this. We're going to wrap it up. Romans 14 and 4. And that's 144. Because the Lord's servants are of the 144,000. Who art thou that judges another man's servant? To his own master he standeth or falleth. Yea, he shall be holden up, for the power is able to make him stand. So a lot of you, you have all these things to say about the Lord's servants. He's too rough. You'll unsubscribe because he said something you didn't like. Okay? You gossip behind our backs and then try to smile in our face. You'll approach us not trying to learn but trying to actually find fault in what we're saying, trying to push a, a lying narrative against us. You're not trying to reason for a lot of you. You already have it in your mind that you don't like us. You don't like what we're doing. You don't like the doctrine, but you come in a, in a faulty way. You, you come real snaky like the Lord's going to kill you. All right. Who art thou that judges another man's servant? Oh, I don't want to hear you read it. I don't want to hear it coming from you. 
Anything that comes out of your mouth, I just don't want to hear it. Right? Just to be a smart ass. To his own master, he standeth or followeth. So let the Lord choose his servants. Don't try to choose the Lord's servants for him. All right? Yea, he shall be holding up, for the power is able to make him stand. And that's why the Lord's servants are doing what? Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. So the righteous, the elect, they're going to stand because the Lord is able to make them stand. The elect, those who are teaching this word in sincerity and in truth, who are predestined from the beginning, those are the Lord's servants. Whether you people like it or not, nobody gives a damn about your feelings, man. All right? So I'm going to go on ahead and close it there. Lord willing, this was simple and edifying. You know, all you scoffers and scorners, just be aware. Just know your day's coming. You know, I don't like you. I don't give a shit about you. <laughs> so shalom to the elect, you know, to the brothers and sisters who believe. Love y'all. To hell with all the Lord's enemies, man. Ka halal yahawabashim yahawashai. Shalom.